welcome back to the Heather Mac Reacts. I'm still sick. The nose is getting more stuffed the longer we film, so I apologize for this sniffly, stuffly voice, but I'm doing the best I can. Today we're going through some more Am I the A-hole posts, and if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five times a week every single week. Now if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get right into this first story. This says, am I the a-hole for giving my mom's cats away while she was out of the house? Uh, yeah, I don't think you should give away someone else's pets, but maybe you have a reason. My mom, 54 female, has a pretty severe hoarding problem. Okay, that's a reason. I'm, I still feel a little uncomfortable with you giving away someone's pets, but Let's see, she's had it since before I was born. When I, 23 female, was a kid, the house was generally pretty cluttered and we had one or two rooms that were mom's rooms that we couldn't go into, but it was pretty livable. After my siblings and I moved out, she got a lot worse. Now she's living in two rooms in her house, her bathroom and her living room, and even those are full of trash. Whenever I visit her, I have to wear a mask because the smell in the house is so bad. Her bathroom is still functional, but only the toilet itself because the shower and sink are also full. The fact that my mom lives like this is bad enough but she also has four cats. They aren't shelter cats, but rather cats my mom rehabilitated that she took off the street. None of them are well taken care of. They don't have litter boxes and she doesn't let them outside, so they just crap wherever. They all have fleas and probably worms because the house is so dirty and she never takes them to the vet because she doesn't leave the house. I've spoken to my mom about this multiple times, but she won't listen to me. She took in her most recent cat just two months ago and is already trying to trap another cat that she found in her backyard problematic my sister 19 female recently came back from college and was just as horrified as i am my mom is a lot closer to my sister than she is to me so my sister and i decided that she would get my mom out of the house while i stole the cats my sister convinced my mom to go with her to visit our brother and while they were gone i managed to catch all the cats i took them to a shelter a couple hours away so my mom wouldn't be able to find them one of the cats turned out to have terminal cancer so we ended up being put down but the rest of them are currently up for adoption my mom is livid she has called me multiple times a day since this happened over a week ago, demanding I tell her where I took her cats and calling me a horrible person and a horrible daughter. She has also told all my siblings. Some are more angry at me than others, but most agree that what I did was wrong. Even the sister that helped me says she feels awful about it now and regrets doing it. At first, I didn't feel bad at all, but now I am beginning to question my, de question my decision. Am I the a-hole? See, like, I don't feel great about you stealing someone else's pets, but I also don't think those pets were in a good, safe, and hygienic situation, and it wasn't fair to those cats either, and um, maybe you should have just called animal control because they would have taken those cats, and then you wouldn't have to be the bad guy because all oh, the neighbor did it. Because, yeah, I do think that the cats didn't belong in a house like that. It's not fair to them. One of them had terminal cancer. is probably in a lot of pain. And this woman would have let him just suffer until he croaked because she doesn't leave her house. So, do I think you should have taken the cats out? Maybe not. Do I think the cat should have been taken out of the house? Yeah. I want to know what you think about that one in the comments. It's a little dicey, but I want to hear your opinion. And let's get on to the next story. Okay, this one's strange. It says, am I the a-hole for using the toilet while my fiance bathes? <laughs> uh, I mean, if you gotta go, you gotta go, right? I, 32 female, am currently not doing so great with my fiance, 29 male. I love this man. He is funny, smart, kind. He's nurturing and so patient with me. He teaches and does community activism and nonprofit work most of the day. Lately, he's been in a fight because he claims I frequently use the bathroom while he is using it for his baths. To be fair, he doesn't take baths frequently, but when he does, he does bath bombs, skincare, and just soaks for some time. And he often lets me know he is about to bathe or take a shower to deliberately relax. He claims that he understands a few emergencies, but every time he has gone to sit in the tub, I come in not even 15 minutes later to use the bathroom. He says he wrote in his phone, it's happened at least 10 times. It's a little excessive lady. One night he broke down crying and said he just wanted space alone and he doesn't want someone taking craps next to his relaxation time. I think he is being overly sensitive and a bit dramatic and I can't control when I need to use the bathroom. Another time he broke down and just asked, give me 30 minutes by myself. The toilet is right next to the tub so sometimes he has tried to pull the curtain but then will get frustrated, drain the water and give up. Then he complains the hot water was wasted. I think my fiance is too sensitive. Am I the a-hole? 
lady, could you give the man 30 freaking minutes? You're telling me you can't hold your poop for 30 minutes? You're telling me that you didn't know you had to poop before his bath and that now you can't hold it until after his bath? I call BS. If you're a server, you know how long you can hold your poop for and it's a long ass time. I call BS, you're a psycho, you need to leave him the hell alone. Like, what is your problem? Give him 30 minutes to himself. Are you, is, is this some kind of like, uh, not great and toxic relationship where you're like emotionally some abusing him? <laughs> Trying. Is that what's going on here? Because like he's crying because you're not leaving him alone. That's a problem, lady. Okay, I'm wearing it out. I wanna know what you all think about that one in the comments and let's get on to the next story. Am I the a-hole for kicking my son's girlfriend out of our house? Reddit says they're not the a-hole, but let's see what we think. My husband, 58 male, and I, 56 female, recently met my son's girlfriend for the first time. He's been crazy about her. Apparently, they've been dating for a year before he decided to have her officially meet us. What he's told us about her all seems great. She just got her degree, was enjoying her job, family-oriented, etc. I'm honestly just glad he's happy with her. My husband and I don't think he's ever been this into someone before, so I feel pretty bad about what I did. Yikes. Last weekend, he brought her over for dinner. By now, we'd been anticipating meeting her with how much our son has been gushing about her, how perfect she is, that she's the one in his words. They ring the doorbell, we open the door, she looks exactly like her pictures, which is a great start. My son is grinning ear to ear, another great start. We invite them in, she accepts my hug and a firm handshake from my husband, and then she opens her mouth. I'm the one your son puts his penis in. Okay, coming from the mom of a boy, if you walked in my house and said this about my son, I tell you to get the hell out of my face. Just saying. To be frank, I was appalled. I'm freaking appalled just hearing about it. I expected my husband to laugh. Both he and my son are jokesters and as annoying as it can be, I love it. But this was just too much for me. Maybe I'm reserved, but of all the things she could have shared about my son, she told us that. One look at my face and my husband knew how much I disapproved. Maybe I let my exp expectations get too high and it's unfair to have them. But I reiterate, of all the things to say to her boyfriend's parents, to whom she'd never met, she chose that? My son was amused at first, but when he noticed my reaction, his face dropped. I felt like he'd sold me the full package, everything he'd always been looking for in a girlfriend. I was too disturbed by the visual it put in my head and it translated into anger. I told her to get out and I wanted to say more about how gross it made me feel, but fortunately left it at that. My son didn't want to go, insisting I give her another chance, but I was too fed up and uncontrollable by this point. Even my husband, who's enjoyed his fair, of, his fair share of raunchy jokes, wouldn't let up. They left and I immediately felt guilty. This was something my son had really looked forward to and I felt like I took that away over a dumb joke. I tried calling to apologize but he hasn't responded. My husband thinks she's the one who should apologize. I'm considering giving her another chance but before I do, was I the a-hole? Nah. I'm telling you as a mother of a son. Oh. Oh. I'm having trouble just coping with that future in my head because I just don't know how I'd stop myself from swinging. There's an edit. I should clear some things up. My husband had no part in my reaction. I did the kicking out, not him. I don't want him taking the fall for this. He said she should apologize, but I'm not expecting an apology. Sorry for the confusion. My son lives in a nearby state. It can be about an hour to get back to where we live. He also hasn't dated anyone seriously for a while, maybe a couple of years. He told us before that he wouldn't bring anyone home unless he's sure he wants a future with her. We've been asking to meet her ever since he told us about her, but he wanted us to be ready. The comment about her looking like her picture shows my age sorry for that he's only shown us her photos she sent him as he apparently didn't have any of them together he hates taking pictures and apparently she's always teasing him about it i don't think he'd ever lie about who she is but it's just a parental concern i've subconsciously had i felt the same way about my daughter's then boyfriend when we first met him i don't have any criteria that either of my kids spouses need to meet i just hope my kids are happy with them what i meant by her being the full package was indicative of what he told us about her as his parents we have a good idea 
idea of what he looks for in a partner and she checked off everything based on what we'd been told. And on top of everything, aside from what she said, her appearance was how she presented it to be. Again, we aren't strict about appearances. It's just a relief to have someone for the first time, to have met someone for the first time and they look just like you'd expect. My husband said that I was worried about secondhand catfishing, if that's even a thing, lol. I guess it shows how anxious I was about this. Also, thank you for your comments and rewards. I've had a few people reach out to me personally too. Thank you for that. Regardless of where you stand, I appreciate it. I per personally think everyone needs some room for improvement here, but I've done my part to make amends and I'm waiting for my son to call me. I'll be sure to give an update about how it goes. Okay, definitely not the a-hole. That girl needs to grovel, okay? And if I was her boyfriend, it, wait, yeah, if I was the boyfriend, I would be livid at my girlfriend that she said something that disgusting and vile to my freaking mother. Like, hello, that is my mother. She doesn't want to think about where my penis goes. Ew. Gross. Yuck. Ooh, I want to bomb. That's disgusting. No, you're not the a-hole. And that girlfriend, there's something freaking wrong with her. Like, what is wrong with you? Are you just socially awkward? Then keep your freaking mouth shut. Shut up. Ugh. Okay, coming from a mother of a son, not the a-hole, I would have done worse. I want to know what you think about that one in the comments. Please don't forget, we have a playlist of over 100 Am I the a-hole videos up here that you can binge. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!